Hello friends, welcome to CS Lectures channel. So in this video, I'm going to explain how to display even numbers from 1 to 100 using C program. So let's see. So here I'm writing the program to display all the even numbers from 1 to 100. Here I'm writing as include stdio.h as include stands for preprocessor directive and stdio.h stands for standard input output header file. Okay. Then this standard input output header file contains the printf and scanf functions which I can use within the program. That means if I declare this header file, then I can use the functions inside it. Okay. So now I'm writing void main. The function from which execution starts. So then after I'm declaring a variable int i semicolon. Then I'm writing printf within double quotation display even numbers from 1 to 100 bracket and semicolon. Then I'm writing for loop for i equal to 1 semicolon i less than equal to 100 semicolon i plus plus okay so within the for loop i am using e condition if i modular division 2 equal to equal to 0 then then printf printf percentile d double quotation end comma i then i will be printed that is the even numbers will be printed if close for loop close then main function close here keep start if close for loop start for loop close then main function start and main function closes here okay so here you can see i have used the for loop inside the for loop the value of i is 1 and it will check 1 to 100 and within the for loop i have used if statement and inside the if statement i have used the condition i modular division 2 equal to equal to 0 it means if the modular division of i modular division 2 equal to equal to 0 the number will be even that means i must be even okay so then just you can see here Suppose this is the value of i and the condition will be checked like this i less than equal to 100. If this first, this is the first condition, first initialization, this is second condition, second is the condition and the third, this uh, inside the for loop, the statements will be executed. So in third for loop, for loop will be executed okay so next i plus plus the i value will be incremented here you can see for the value of i i equal to one one less than equal to 100 yes it is true if it is true then one i modular division to equal to equal to zero one modular division to equal to equal to zero is it true no this is not true if it is not true, then i value will be incremented. So i value will be true. So if this is not true, then this will not be printed. This statement will not execute. Simply the control goes out of this if and then i will be i plus plus. So i will be 2, then 2 less than equal to 100. Yes, 2 less than equal to 100. If 2 less than equal to 100, then if 2 modular driven 2 equal to equal to 0, 
that means two modular division two equal to equal to zero. Yes or no? Yes. Two modular division two equal to equal to zero because modular division is the remainder. So here you can see this is the remainder, and uh, you know that two modular division two means the remainder value will be taken. Okay. So here two modular division two equal to equal to zero. It means the condition satisfies. Now the number is given. Printf statement will print the value of i that is two. Okay, here two will be printed. Again, i value will be incremented. Then it will be three. Three less than equal to hundred. It will check three less than equal to hundred. Is it true? Yes, it is true. Then three modular division two equal to equal to zero. Is it or not? No. Three modular division two equal to equal to one. So if this is uh, this is false. So this is false. This is also false. Then the control goes out of it, and i value will be incremented. I value will increment to four. Then four less than equal to hundred. Yes, if it's true, then four modular division two equal to equal to zero. Yes, four modular division two equal to equal to zero because four divided by two this will be four. This will be zero. So this remainder will be zero. That means this is true. So I value will be printed. That is, four will be printed. That means this is an even number. This is also an even number. Similarly, the value of four will be incremented. That is, i plus plus. So it will be five. Then five mod less than equal to hundred. Yes, it is true. Then, but five modular will be equal to equal to one. This is not equal to zero. So this is false. If this condition is false, then five cannot be an even number. So this statement will not print. The control goes out of the if statement, then i will be incremented. That is i plus plus. So five will be i plus plus. That is six. Six less than equal to hundred. Yes, it is true. Six modular division two equal to equal to zero. Yes, six modular division two equal to equal to zero because six, six zero. So remainder is zero. That means six is an even number. So it will be print six. Six will be printed in the output. Similarly. This will goes to up to hundred. So hundred less than equal to hundred. Yes, this is true. Less than either less than or equal to. As it is true, then hundred modular division two equal to equal to zero. Yes, hundred modular division two equal to equal to zero. So finally, hundred will be printed. So then hundred plus one i value will be incremented. That is hundred one. Hundred one less than equal to hundred. Is it true? No, this is false. If this is false, then no statement will be printed after that. Already the even numbers have been printed in the output screen. So let's see how my Dev C plus plus editor displays the output. Here I have opened my Dev C++ editor. Select so selecting file, then new, then source file. Here I am writing the program. Has include stdio dot h file main curly bracket int i semicolon printf within double quotation. Display all even numbers. Display all even numbers from one to hundred. Then colon semicolon. Okay. Now for i equal to one semicolon i. Less than equal to hundred semicolon i plus plus. Then if i modular division two equal to equal to zero, then print percentile t comma i. The even number will be printed here. Now my program is complete. So here. Uh, I am just uh, putting slash t 
spasting to make a space in the output screen between the numbers okay now let me compile the program so when i will compile the program it will ask me to save the number save the program so i am saving in the name of even then save as type will be c source files with dot c extension now i'm saving it and the compilation result has already come that is errors and warnings are zero it means my program is correct let's see the output yes you can see the output here okay so 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 20 22 all the numbers from 1 to 100 those are even numbers are printed here okay so in this way you can find the even numbers from 1 to 1000 also 1 to 500 also okay let's change it to 1000 and see how this was printed okay just i'm changing the value of 100 to 1000 let's see what will be the output yes yes you can see the output here okay so okay now i'm entering it 100 suppose i'm making it 500 you can see here yes this is the output so all the even numbers are printed in the output screen okay so in this logic in this way you can write program to find all the even numbers or even you can find all the odd numbers by using for loop and if statement in c programming okay so this is all about today's video if you like this video and if, if you get some knowledge then uh, please subscribe my channel for latest updates and thanks for watching.